instantaneous velocity of a projectile thrown from the ground instantaneous velocity of a projectile thrown from the ground in the diagram this is the horizontal direction or this is the ground from which a projectile of mass m from which a projectile of mass m will be thrown obliquely uh, with the horizontal a projectile of mass m uh, is projected from the point o on the ground and the projectile will describe this type of parabolic path and uh, the projectile describes or travels along this parabolic path and uh, this projectile strikes the ground this projectile of mass m strikes the ground at the point b strikes the ground at the point b now the projectile is thrown with the initial velocity u and the projectile strikes the ground at the point b with the velocity v double prime such that v double prime is equal to u such that v double prime is equal to u and uh, v double prime makes an angle phi with the horizontal and u is at an angle theta with the horizontal now phi is equal to theta and v double prime is equal to u now we can consider two rectangular components of initial velocity u ux is the horizontal component of velocity ui is the vertical component of initial velocity of the projectile we can denote the highest point a and this point is uh, intermediate point is an intermediate point c at the point c the projectile has a tendency to move with the velocity v prime along this tangent v prime is the velocity of the projectile at the point c the projectile at the point c has a tendency to move along the tangent cz with the velocity v prime and we can consider uh, two rectangular components of v prime at the point c horizontal component of the final velocity v prime is vx prime and vertical component is vy prime and v prime makes an angle beta with the horizontal direction and from c we can draw uh, this type of perpendicular or normal cn1 is the perpendicular that is also the vertical displacement at the point o time t is equal to 0 at the point n1 time t is equal to t second and at the point b time t is equal t1 plus t2 which is the total time of flight which will be equal to capital t capital T is the total time of flight we can denote the horizontal displacement of the projectile at the point C X is the horizontal displacement Y is the vertical displacement of the projectile and that is also instantaneous height at the highest point A the projectile has a tendency to move with the velocity V along the tangent A X 1 along the tangent A X prime and from the point A we can draw a perpendicular uh, AN and that perpendicular NA or AN is the maximum height H max attained by the projectile at the highest point A. At instant small t is equal capital T1 where capital T1 is a time of flight or time of ascent not time of flight it should be time of ascent. At the highest point A acceleration due to gravity small g acts vertically downwards an angle between small g and uh, v final velocity v at the highest point a is 90 degree is 90 degree now we can denote the horizontal range of the projectile capital r r is the horizontal range that means displacement of the projectile when it strikes the ground at the point b from the initial point of projection o here v prime or that is instantaneous velocity is question mark and uh, here what we can write when a, when the projectile thrown from the ground when the projectile thrown from the ground reaches to the point c reaches to the intermediate point c at the instant small t equals small t second uh, at the instant small t equals small t comma its instantaneous velocity at the point c its instantaneous velocity of the uh, velocity at the point c will be v prime equal root over vx prime square plus vy prime square 
vx prime square plus vi prime square under square root that is uh, the instantaneous velocity of the projectile at the point c v prime equal root over vx prime square plus vy prime square which is equation 1 and v prime is the instantaneous velocity of the projectile at the point c at instant t equal small t second using the equation using the equation v equal u plus a t uh, between the two points o and c between the two points o and c in uh, the vertically upward direction in the vertically upward direction uh, that is along uh, the direction o y we get we uh, o y we get v y prime uh, will be equal to u y plus under bracket minus g into t that is v y prime should be equal to u sin theta minus g t v y prime uh, should be equal to u sin theta minus g t that is the final velocity of the projectile at the intermediate point c it should be v y prime not v y v y prime is equal to u sin theta minus g t which is equation 2 where u y prime is equal to u sin theta u i prime is equal to u sin theta that means u i has the two rectangular components u i is equal u sin theta that is the vertical component and u x is equal u cos theta that is the horizontal component of initial velocity u of uh, the projectile now the horizontal component now the horizontal component of velocity of the projectile remains constant horizontal component of velocity of the projectile remains constant <coughs> remains constant uh, so here what we can write ux will be equal to vx prime in this case ux will be equal to vx prime as the horizontal component of velocity of the projectile remains constant uh, because remains constant because vy prime is less than ui prime uh, that's why in vertically upward direction acceleration is minus g and vy prime e should be equal to ui prime minus gt and we have used the equation v equal u plus et in vertically upward direction and vertical component of velocity decreases from o to c but the horizontal component of velocity of the projectile remains constant between the two points O and C. Acceleration due to gravity small g acts downwards. And we are considering the equation V equal U plus A T in a vertically upward direction. That's why acceleration A equal to minus G. When we use the equation V equal U plus A T in the vertically upward direction. Now the horizontal component of velocity of the projectile remains constant. Acceleration due to gravity that is small g acts downwards or vertically downwards and small g is at an angle of 90 degree with uh, the horizontal direction. That's why the rectangular component of small g in the horizontal direction is gx which is equal to g cos 90 degree equal to 0. There is no component of acceleration to, due to gravity in the horizontal direction. That's why the horizontal component of velocity of the projectile remains constant. Because there is no component of acceleration due to gravity in the horizontal direction. Due to gravity in the horizontal direction. Therefore, Vx prime will be equal to ux vx prime will be equal to ux or comma vx prime it should be vx prime equal to ux not ux prime so vx prime is equal to ux uh, they will be same because horizontal component of velocity of the projectile remains same or they are same in magnitude now vy prime is equal to u sin theta minus gt and that is derived from uh, the equation v equal u plus at uh, used in vertically upward direction and here v y prime is less than u y if we move upwards or if the projectile travels from o to c vertical component of acceleration due to gravity decreases as acceleration due to gravity small g acts downwards in the opposite direction of vertically upward direction 
that's why vy prime decreases uh, decreases from o to a and vy prime increases from a to b during its downward motion as the horizontal component of velocity of projectile remains constant uh, so we can say that vx prime will be equal to ux and here using v equal u plus at between the two points O and C, we get Vx prime is equal to Vx plus G cos 90 degree into T, which is equal to U cos theta. So finally, we get Vx prime will be equal to Ux. Therefore, Vx prime is equal to U cos theta as the horizontal component of velocity of the projectile remains constant. Therefore, V prime is equal to Vx prime root over Vx prime square plus Vy prime square square root u cos theta whole square plus under bracket u sin theta minus gt whole square. Now if we sim simplify then we get u square cos square theta plus u square sin square theta u square sin square theta minus 2 u sin theta gt plus g square t square equal to root over u square is taken common under bracket sin square theta plus cos square theta plus g square t square minus 2 u g t sin theta minus 2 u g t sin theta. Therefore, v prime is equal to root over u square plus g square t square minus 2 u g t sin theta. v prime is equal to root over u square plus g square t square minus 2 u g t sin theta. That is the expression of instantaneous velocity of the projectile thrown from the ground at the point C at instant T equal to T second. V prime equal root over U square plus G square T square minus 2 U G T sin theta. That is the in instantaneous velocity of the projectile uh, thrown from the ground at the point C at the instant T equal T second at the instant T equal small t second. Let beta be the angle, let beta be the angle with which, the angle with which V prime acts with the horizontal direction. Beta is the angle with which beta prime, V prime acts with the horizontal direction. Therefore, tan beta is equal to Vy prime divided by Vx prime tan beta is equal to perpendicular by base that's why it should be vy prime by vx prime putting the expression we get u sin theta minus gt divided by u cos theta tan beta is equal u sin theta minus gt divided by u cos theta therefore beta equal tan inverse u sin theta minus gt divided by u cos theta bracket closed that is the angle subtended by the instantaneous velocity v prime at the point C on this parabolic uh, trajectory. So for instantaneous velocity V prime is equal to root over a u square plus g square t square minus 2 u g t sin theta. That is the instantaneous velocity. For vector addition, it was cos theta. Uh, R was root over a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta. But for instantaneous velocity, it should be sin theta. And this instantaneous velocity v, uh, v prime makes an angle beta with the horizontal and beta is equal to tan inverse u sin theta minus gt divided by u cos theta.